sometimes you do everything right you prepare you 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 prepare from the videos you do the pyqs you do practice questions test series revision and the third and the important the most important thing is i suggest uh, working people not to leave their job and prepare for get so hey everyone welcome back to our channel and i, I hope you all are doing great so uh, many of you are asking me ki how you all can prepare for get 2025 right so like i have none other than ravindra rao raula sir and i thought ki who else will be better than him to answer all these kind of questions right so uh, ravula sir thank you for inviting me and thank you for coming also in this podcast so we'll uh, tackle all the questions and we'll ask him all the questions what you asked me uh, previously so that you all can have some betterment in gate 25 uh, journey okay and uh, yeah sir uh, can we start up with the questions yeah yeah we can start with the question yeah sure so uh, this will be uh, about gate 25 about like how you all can start your preparation with uh, gate 25 right so let's start with the very first question which you have asked me previously so uh, the very first question is sir they are asking me is why should they prepare for gate like how they should prepare for gate so uh, actually they asked me how they should prepare mm-hmm. but uh, i think before knowing uh how they should prepare they must know why they should prepare right because get is something a very long journey kind of thing yeah, so like yeah. throughout the journey they should have some kind of motivation before starting otherwise if they don't know the why they will don't keep their preparation like for the 12 months preparation right yeah there are two main reasons uh, why you should be uh, i think three main reasons so one is that uh, brand so if you have missed out the brands of iits then maybe uh, this will give you one more chance to get into iits and the second is even if you don't get into iits also if you get into a decent university there will be lot of placements so without doing masters also you can get a job by doing dsa course and uh, searching for jobs but uh, that is uh, not guaranteed which means uh, you might not get into a product based company easily so if you are dream is to have a brand in your resume if your dream is to get a job then you you should definitely do masters and the third and the important uh, most important thing is in your btech you don't know what research is you don't even know the meaning of research if you want to look at research closely so when i was preparing for my gate exam uh, i had spoken to one of my seniors uh, who was doing masters at iis bangalore and he told me only one thing so ravi if you if you want to see research closely you should do masters because uh, when you do masters you will be interacting with professors who are already doing research and you will be interacting with phd students in btech colleges this doesn't happen this interaction doesn't happen so if you want to have a brand if you want to get a good job in product based companies like google microsoft all that and if you want to see whether you really are into research or not see i am not saying that you should become a researcher after you do a masters i am not saying that but if you want to know what research is at least if you want to give it a try and understand whether you are suitable for it or not you should go for a masters and if you do masters even you can get into teaching field not like me you don't require masters to become a teacher in a, in youtube right but then if you want to become a professor assistant professor associate professor in uh, good colleges like iits and nits generally they require uh, masters and phd's generally you can't do phd without a, without having masters degree so there are a lot of benefits if you do uh, masters yes yeah so it's not just job okay yeah yeah that's correct obviously sir because in mtech in the second year we have a completely one year we have to prepare for our thesis and we get a lot of exposure about research also yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we read papers so i was i did my research in uh, data science only okay. uh, so it was in natural language processing to be very specific Okay. So yeah, yeah. So uh, I think you got some your uh, why you should prepare for gate and definitely let's move to the how you can prepare for gate twenty twenty five right. So it is the month of uh, January. We yeah. are recording it. So you have like around one year to prepare. So like yeah. how you can prepare them, sir? So it actually depends or varies from person to person. I have seen some people who prepared for gate in just three months. and then i have seen people who have prepared gate for mm-hmm. gate for 2 years 3 years like that yeah. so it all varies from person to person but one year is a, a decent time and uh, it will be good enough even for an average student to cover the entire gate syllabus because there are roughly around 11 subjects 
and if you go with one subject every month it will take one year right so one year is at least required is what i feel even if you are average or above average student but if you are a genius you can do it in 45 days but they, those people are very rare so we are talking about normal people right like me <laughs> <laughs> no not at all sir yeah. you are not a normal people <laughs> yeah. okay yeah so uh yeah definitely guys uh, this one year if you completely dedicate one year totally so it is just a cake walk for you okay it's just that you have to plan your days accordingly yeah and also subscribe to his channel i will keep doing videos uh, very often on his channel uh, earlier also you have seen my video right but we have given some gap but then from now on i will try to do as many videos as possible on this channel talking about gate guidance okay so subscribe to this thank you sir yeah okay uh, uh so sir uh, like can you tell them like what is the best way to prepare and start for gate preparation yeah so actually i will i'll give you an example okay? okay so if you want to drink coconut water there are two ways you can do one way is you can climb up the tree <laughs> okay pull the coconut with your hands it will not come it is not easy yeah, yeah no. i have tried it once oh really <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay it is not very easy you have to twist it twist it twist it and then it will come and then you have to break it with your hands and finally get to drink it so so this method is like reading the textbooks yeah if you have to read textbooks it is very hard because textbooks are really big there are for gate computer science there are roughly 20 23 textbooks that you have to read total mm -hmm. so if you have to become a topper you have to read 23 textbooks but if you are reading all the 23 textbooks it will take 4 years to understand everything from the textbooks and remember it make the notes and everything it is going to take 4 years and what is the other way of drinking the coconut you just pay 10 rupees okay i don't know if it it might be 50 rupees now yeah yeah <laughs> okay i yeah you, you it varies from state to state yeah it varies from state to state and i like uh, kerala coconuts <laughs> yeah. orange one orange one yeah yeah that will it's be more tasty. sweet yeah yeah so you have to you can go and pay uh, 10 rupees or 50 rupees and they will neatly cut it and we will put a straw so this method is like videos so we have done all the hard work so we have climbed the trees we have done all the adventures we have read the textbooks and we have made beautiful videos in a simple way so in this way you will be covering all the 23 textbooks in just one in just one shot okay so go with videos don't do self preparation for gate i really don't suggest it one is you don't know what to read which textbooks to read even if i tell you the textbook names you don't know which topic to read from which textbook and there will be lot of other information which is not required for gate exam and uh, it is not very easy so you always uh, go with experienced people so probably in india there may be one or two people more experienced than me coming to gate i have been teaching for 15 years right so i have a lot of experience so go with people who have experience like me even if you don't want to go with my course go with someone but they should have a lot of experience in gate and they should be able to uh, so, uh, uh, prepare the content in such a way that you will be able to solve all the previous year question papers as well as you should be able to solve the uh, upcoming question papers okay so go with videos videos that is the easiest way don't go with books okay but books you can read them uh, side by side just to increase the knowledge but I, i don't feel that it is required when you have an experienced person why are you paying yeah. if you are already paying and again if you have to read books then why are you paying the fee that is yeah. that is just redundant right yeah yeah so sir like uh, you talked about watching videos right hmm. so do you think like many of the subscribers also ask like whether they should start offline coaching or they should take the online coaching so what do you feel which one will be better so in online coaching it actually saves time and money see i have seen the days where people i used to teach in an institute in delhi okay uh, people from all over india used to come there okay and they had to take a place and the places were very expensive to live yeah. right and uh, they take very filthy places they were like uh, you know stupid places i can tell you and uh, they have to travel to the uh, institute on time yeah. and again when you go to a classroom the classes will not start on time 10 15 minutes delay will be there true, true. and then uh, when when a people when someone actually writes something on the board he has to erase it that is again a time waste right so you will be wasting time and money in offline classes uh, but uh, if you are doing online classes then you can actually stay at home 
and uh, at the, you can have your mom's food your mom made <laughs> food and you will be healthy and also you can do it at your own time some people like to study in the morning some people like to study in the night so there is lot of flexibility in online classes so go for online classes yeah so that's what i also feel ki online classes are better than offline classes because in the offline classes teacher doesn't stop like if you have to go some out of a break or some yeah. bio break only teachers usually don't stop yeah. and once you miss that 10 minutes also no yeah. you will be completely lost what true, they are teaching true, true. yeah so, anyway people have moved on like students are not going for offline classes uh-huh. i mean there are very less number of students in offline classes now compared to online everyone has moved on yeah mm mm-hmm. definitely but then there is one more thing that uh, we observed uh, there should be an environment there should be a group that is an advantage of offline classes you will have a group of people who are preparing along with you with whom you will uh, communicate with whom from whom you will learn and all this so just to tackle this problem uh, we are starting something called as a study room gate study room where classes will be online only but then you can come to our office you can sit in the office from morning to night or even night also whole day whole day you can sit in the uh, office and you can prepare along with you other people will also be preparing you can interact with them you can see them so we are providing an environment yeah. where you will not get uh, lonely you will not you will always be motivated by seeing others so this is called gate study room that mm-hmm. we are starting maybe if you are interested you can join yeah Yes, yeah, actually, this is a good initiative because I feel what I feel that uh, like after watching continuous videos, 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 no people used to feel sleepy and all also sometimes. <laughs> so if you have someone around them, they can see them and they can see that he is also preparing. How he is preparing, I can ask him like how they are doing it. So sometimes watching continuous video makes sleepy or like it is a very yeah yeah you know yeah. you need someone to talk to. talk to yeah. So uh, like some of them ask me. Uh, how many hours should they study for get preparation if they want to spend full time for get 25 so uh, if you are preparing for one year i suggest that you spend 4 hours per day that is sufficient 4 hours for one year is a very good time okay that is that you, that way you will you will cover everything so 4 hours is more than sufficient even 3 hours is a good time 3 to 4 hours yeah okay yeah so like uh, for the students who are also having their btech placements so mm. for the students look like, how they should manage their placement and gate and also for the uh, employees who are working in some corporate office how they can manage office and gate like that <laughs> yeah so you have to manage definitely both of them you cannot ignore anything so especially for students uh, see i always say that there should be luck involved yeah definitely in whatever you do there should be uh, there is a research on this there is a i i think there is a book i don't remember the name by a very good researcher he said that there should be luck also in your life <clears throat> to achieve something yeah. luck plays a major factor sometimes you do everything right you prepare you 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 prepare from the videos you do the pyqs you do practice questions test series revision you do everything and even after that there is a chance that you might not get a rank that may be because of the luck factor you did everything right so i always suggest that you have a backup plan what if you don't crack gate you should have a de- uh, you should not base your you should not uh, assume that i am definitely going to get into iits and i will not have any backup plan you should always have a backup plan i suggest uh, working people not to leave their job and prepare for gate i suggest students to prepare for placements along with gate so dedicate 3 to 4 hours for gate but the remaining time you do your work okay so gate you re- in an exam like gate you really need luck i have seen many people brilliant people who were not able to get into gate iit is just because i feel that they were unlucky okay yeah definitely sir uh, like i also feel that like up to some threshold there is your hard work there is your smart work but after that threshold no there is. is luck only like purely luck, purely luck. Uh, like if you if you see the world cup also like the india won all of the matches right yeah, but they lost great example yeah they lost the final match so it was not that they practiced less or something it was just not their day that's you know one interesting thing that i observed is in our test series sometimes yeah. someone some people who perform 
very well in all the test series will fail to do well in gate exam yeah. but sometimes what happens is people who who doesn't perform at all in the test series like mm-hmm. people who get below 60 marks they will suddenly get 80 marks in the gate exam yeah <laughs> right <laughs> so this is all luck uh, we cannot predict i mm-hmm. even after seeing their marks i cannot predict who will be the first ranker yeah. so for them it is impossible so don't have any assumptions you keep all the options open yeah yeah so i think sir uh, that is all the questions they have okay so we great, can wrap great. up for today's session great. Uh, so uh, guys so if you have some uh, more doubts you can comment it down in this uh, video okay we can do another podcast on those questions so uh, i hope you all enjoyed this session i want to I... give them an update about the course can okay, i give sir. them sure sure, sure. so uh, we are starting the gate live classes so you can go to my website ravindrababuraola.com we are starting gate live classes at uh, he will tell the price <laughs> <laughs> so it is the 10 times lesser than the actual price which was previously there on the website yeah. so it is around 3000 i guess 3000 yeah 2999 yeah. is the uh, price for the so. gate live for the entire year and uh, it is less than 10 rupees per day okay so mm-hmm. you can register for the gate classes and i will see you in the classes okay so uh, thank you guys for joining and uh, we'll meet you in the next session soon tab tak ke liye bye 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 thank i don't listen to the haters man i treat them like the enemy had a couple traders man but now they know the penalty i 